Hey guys, and welcome to this new video. It could be not so interesting for everyone, but the ones who love to play with e-paper displays, like I do most of the time, and who also like to solder a bit, I want to show this tiny PCB, which is basically an adapter to better or simpler connect a microcontroller like an ESP32 or some other one to a universal interface of the e-paper displays as most of today's e-paper displays have this 24 pin connector on them and the pinout is basically the same on multiple, multiple models as you can see here are uh, many different screen sizes from 1.54 inch to 11.6 inch and it will work on all of them if you have something like an 8-bit e-paper display this one does not work or some very special one like this here we have a 40-pin connector which of course doesn't fit in the 24 pin connector on this adapter PCB but for the general purpose this PCB could help you get into it and I will share the Gerber files and also the bomb of course so you can order it yourself. This video is sponsored by PCBWay which did also provide these PCBs and the fitting stencil here and it's as always very good quality and I would order from them as well even if they did not send me these PCBs for free so check them out they do not only offer PCBs these days they do CNC milling 3D printing and more and yeah I really like to work with them to show the PCB in action we will change the camera angle more to the table it basically replaces this older version of the PCB adapter. It's basically exactly the same um, hardware on it, but just smaller and just lighter, thinner PCB and so on. But let's take a closer look. So we have here a PCB connected to an ESP32 uh, running an example code, which will just show this bit pattern you can see here. It's right now made for the 11.6 inch display, but it does also kind of work on the smaller screens. This is because the controller has a different connected area on each display. This is a programming wise yeah, thing. It's not related to the adapter PCB. And if I now connect it to it, it's really just yeah, this FPC connector and turn the power on to the ESP32. We shall see the screen refreshing in a moment. This is just to demoing the function of the PCB. This will now happily refresh and let's just uh, yeah, I bought it by disconnecting the screen and connecting a different one and resetting the ESP32. We can see it's also refreshing here and working happily. The main reason I designed this PCB version 2, I would call it, at all is because this older version had the through-hole connector or 2.54 millimeter pitch um, connectors but also the PCB is quite big in comparison to a 2.13 inch e-paper display but this new PCB fits nicely behind it and there's still a room. The only thing still yeah, hard to get it behind is the 1.54 inch display. Let's also quickly connect it like so. 
In this case, you still would need to maybe connect some wires directly to the pins, but that's also possible. You can see here that they are easily accessible and have yeah, the pinout diagram on the back to also save some space again. In the past, to get around not designing a PCB, my solution was mostly to just hook into some uh, stock PCBs of e-paper price tags or shelf labels. But with this PCB, it's now way simpler to get them running. To build such PCBs up, you really don't need that much. Of course, you need the PCB. And it's way simpler with a stencil. Of course, you need some solder paste. Or if you do not work with a stencil, some solder. A fine pitch tweezer to put the parts on. And a bit bigger thing, the heat plate. In this case, it's a 10 by 10 centimeter one. But you can also use a hot air station. The only thing you need to be careful then is the FPC connector you can see here and I will also show some footage of the soldering itself and the repairing of the bridges on the connector because most of the time they happen on minimum one pin so if the solder paste is a bit too much between these pins of the FPC connector they will build up bridges and to prevent it we just simply use a bit of solder wick and then the bridges can be removed. That's basically it already for this video. I know it's really not that much of interesting for everyone and only for the ones who are really into e-paper displays and such as it's quite special and not really hacking related as usual but stay tuned for next time where i want to show and talk about this pcb where we can see a bit more in depth in e-paper display communication and yeah see you then <laughs>